Saturday afternoon and the usual last minute details are attended to before the big night. Co-organiser Anne Lennon has been directing this international competition for 11 years. Well, we suspected at that time from our contacts within the business that there were a lot of disappointed songwriters in this country who would like an airing for the material. And we felt that we, by setting up in business here, that we would provide a forum for songwriters and indeed for our singers. Because as we've discovered over the years, um, we've had such a tremendous wealth of talent coming here. And a lot of them have never been seen on television or heard on radio and uh, therefore you know they got their first airing and their first exposure to international competition here does the competition give the cavan town a good boost financially well yes it does because as you can imagine having seen snow on the ground this morning we wouldn't exactly be overrun with tourists of any description at this time of the year and it just means that the hotels and the guest houses are booked out from approximately thursday night until sunday morning which is a nice boost for them this time of the year. So tonight is going to be very exciting. Tonight we feel is going to be one of the best shows ever and I don't say that lightly because the chairman of our jury even remarked last night that the standard of the songs this year is the best we've had since 1979 and heretofore we regarded 1979 as the vintage year. There are 14 finalists in the 1988 Cavan International Song Contest and they're standing by to compete very shortly. What's your involvement here tonight in the contest? I'm just coming along for support of these people here. Who are you supporting? Mary Downs and Colin Farley. Are you an Irish entry? Yeah, yeah, we're Dublin. Dublin born, Dublin bred. And how did you get involved in the contest? Um, myself, Mary and this lady here work together in a band called Tonton and Coot. And um, we're now, for the last six months, we've been working separately at separate ventures. So Mary is singing here tonight. What are you singing, Mary? A song called Throw of the Dice. Colin wrote it. Everybody wants to get to the top of the Kochani, chciałam powiedzieć, że jest tutaj cudownie. Czuję się wspaniale. Jest tu zielono. Zieleń zawsze będzie mi się kojarzyła z Irlandią. Kocham That's the Polish way of expressing one's delight to be in Ireland. Barbara sung her entry in English, though, a song called Etc. Meanwhile, backstage, the next act were preparing to launch themselves on an unsuspecting audience. Jimmy, you're a local cavern boy. How'd you end up singing an English entry called Tea with Batman? Tea with Batman. Uh, a friend of mine is Tony Hawks, and he plays in a group called Morris Minor and the Majors. And uh, they're number four on the charts, well, last week. So Tony uh, knows me well. He knows how good I am singing. So he asked me yeah. to sing a song. He asked me along as well. I'm a good friend of his, so uh, I'm an even better friend now. He's in the top ten. <laughs> so really it's because we're good friends of his. It's not yeah. talent. Yeah. Tell me about the footwear. Are Batman and Robin normally partial to wearing wellies? Well, Batman and Robin should really be wearing real space boots, but uh, seeing as we're coming to Cavan, we decided Cavan is a wet place, so we decided wellies was the business, really. Yeah, I can recommend these. These, these were reduced in a sale. And, uh, yeah, very good value. Watertight completely, like the act. Well, playing Batman and Robin in the song, from Cavan, but now living in London, Jimmy Fox, and from the London comedy scene, Tim Barrington. So would you welcome Jimmy and Tim. I've got the old desire. I want to have tea with Batman. You're going to see me with Batman, Batman. Fucking with Robin to the hits of the city's pool. Downtown, people get down. The lads didn't carry off the number one prize, but they received a special award for best entertainment value. What's the big deal being involved in the in the Cavan Song Contest? Well, it's a big deal for me because I've got a new band that just started last Sunday night uh, called Rogue Angel, and uh, it's a big deal for me because I hope to get gigs out of it, you know. Rosette is from Dublin, and she sang Slow Dance with composer Ingram Powell from Jamaica. Just a memory to be no more like it used to be. Oh, what a wonderful love I thought 
like one. One of Ireland's most popular cabaret artists, Tony Kenny, came third in the contest. The song Annie was written by Athlone butcher Tommy Healy. Tony also received an unexpected award from Yugoslavia. His song sort of felt a very deep, left a very deep uh, impact on myself, and I just decided it should be the right person to come to Yugoslavia. So, Tony Kenny receives a holiday in Yugoslavia? It is a seven day holiday, totally paid, for two persons in the oldest Yugoslav resort, tourist resort at the town of Abatia. And Yugoslavian singer Adushka sang Green, 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 an appropriate song on her first visit to Ireland. I have a lot of friends here and I've been told before a lot about Thailand and um, most of all there was a person that I know for many years, Sunny Knowles, which I met a lot of times on other international festivals. In this world when no one's there in this world where no one's fair, I have a dream, dream which is all in green. And Radushka came second in the Cavan International Song Contest with her song Green, Green, Green. And the song. Rebel, composed by Pat Dempsey and sung by Dave Lawler, the winner of the Cavan 88 contest. And the winners were presented with a cheque for £1,000 by the Kilmore Hotel in Cavan. I knew from the outset that it was a fantastic song, but I never like to pick songs because I'm not a good judge of songs, I think myself, but I loved the song from the start. Yes, it was particularly well received by the audience tonight. You obviously felt comfortable singing with it. Yes, I loved it. I loved it. I was a bit nervous with my own end of things, but I got through it, thanks be to God. Indeed, you're no stranger to the Cavan International Song Contest. No, this is, as the fellow says, his third time lucky. It's my third time here. Do you hope to record the song now? Um, that's entirely up to Pat. He has his own publishing company and recording studio, and um, I, I think he wants to record it all right, but I, I wouldn't say for definite. Would you regard this as your biggest commercial success to date? Oh, definitely, yes. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Let them see your rebel battle look in your eyes. Don't matter the color of your hair. Let them see your rebel battle look in your eyes. And throughout the contest, the singers were backed by the Earl Gill Orchestra. You've got to stay. 